Hello Ada, it's finally Friday and I'm City Manager Tracy Rolls and we are here today at the Public Works facility. There are more than 100 employees in Public Works and the departments include line maintenance, water and wastewater plants, streets and signals, construction, sanitation, landfill, recycling, fleet management, and the Ada Regional Airport. I'm here today with our Interim Public Works Director, John McKay, who is going to provide a bit of information about streets. John, thanks for being here. Glad to be here. A lot of times we have questions on uh, why we select what roads we do. We have approximately 160 centerline miles of road. Based on 400 foot blocks, if I was going to reconstruct that with my crews, it would take approximately 250 years with two crews going all the time. I plan on a long career. Unfortunately, I don't have 250 years to get this completed. If I give you a number on where you're ranked, there may be a hundred other blocks that have the same rank. So when we take those into consideration, it has to do with uh, a lot of times right-of-way issues. It has to do with utility infrastructure under that road. It has to do with the classification of the road. If you're an arterial road or a major or minor collector, that, that's going to move you higher up in the list. My schedule has to be flexible. A lot of times I'll have roads selected out for the next two or three years, and unfortunately, even if one of the roads that's ranked in decent condition all of a sudden has a failure in it, I may have to change my schedule. So needless to say, there's a lot that goes into which roads get repaired in what order. Absolutely. There's a lot of thought that goes into it in planning. Right. So it's not we're just sitting around throwing a dart at a dartboard trying to figure out which roads to do. There's, there's a lot of planning, a lot of decision making, and we understand that the most important street in town is the one that's in front of your house or in front of your business. So we want to thank you and your crew for what you guys do every day, not just on streets and, and, and roads and repairs and things of that nature, but even those things that the public may not see. So thank you and thank your, thank your crew for everything that you guys do every day to serve our community. We're happy to uh, try to improve the quality of life for residents of the city of Ada. On another exciting note, the Ada Police Department has officially started the Citizens Police Academy. This academy is nine weeks long, that's two hours, one evening per week, and the mission of the academy is to increase the understanding between citizens of our community and the police through education and experience. The academy will foster better understanding to participants so they may possess greater insight into police practices. The next Citizens Police Academy will be in the spring of 2025. And information on how to sign up to be a participant in that academy will be sent out prior to that date. Oh, and on an exciting note, we certainly cannot forget that this weekend is East Central University Homecoming Weekend. The parade is tomorrow, October the 5th, at 1230 along Main Street. And the football game kicks off at 3 p.m. So if you get the opportunity, come and enjoy the homecoming festivities, whether it be at the parade or certainly at the football game as we cheer on our hometown Tigers to homecoming victory. Well, there you have it. That's a wrap. Another Friday and another week in the books. We hope everyone has a great and super safe weekend. If you get to get out and enjoy the weather and, and go cheer on the Tigers at homecoming, whatever you need to do to get out and enjoy life. But remember to take care of yourself, take care of each other, and together, let's take care of Ada.